Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman, and I'm talking with Claudia Reggio, and we're going to see how fast we can set up .NET on a brand new Windows machine. Uh, I've heard five minutes. I don't believe it's possible. Claudia, what do you think? I think we can do it. All right. Gonna how are we going to do it? What's the secret sauce? So we're going to use something called a Winget configuration file on my Windows machine. Okay. Let's bring up your screen and take a look at how that would go down. Yeah. So first of all, I wanted to show you guys the uh, .NET Getting Started tutorial. Um, this is the website you'll actually want to head to. We'll go ahead and drop it in the description for you if you want to follow along with us. But, you know, as developers, you know, want to learn C Sharp and they want to start exploring this new ecosystem, there's a couple of things you really need to get started here. You need the .NET SDK, you likely need VS Code, and C Sharp DevKit, which is our flagship extension product within the VS Code ecosystem. Um, and that helps you with code editing, IntelliSense, testing, all that good stuff that you want uh, as a developer. So when you hit Let's Get Started on this tutorial, what you'll actually see is right here the .NET Winget configuration file. Um, and I've already gone ahead and downloaded that on this uh, sandbox here. And just to prove it to you, I will pull up the apps to show you that there's nothing on this machine right here. So, you know, I'm not cheating. You can see there's basically nothing on this machine, right? And so what I've gone ahead and done is, you know, I've downloaded that file from our tutorial. And all I'm going to do is double click. And what this is going to do is this is going to spin up Winget, which will go ahead and install all those things for us. In just about five minutes, obviously, this can depend on the machine you have and your network speed and all that jazz. However, we are doing all the heavy lifting for you. So we'll just have to wait a couple of minutes. This is now compiling all the things. This is telling me what it's installing. So for anyone who hasn't seen Winget before, you'll want to can check. you zoom in on that? Would you mind control scrolling just a smidge in there? Yes. Thank you so much. Of course. There we go. So for anyone who hasn't seen a uh, Winget or a Winget configuration file before, um, if you're working with one that isn't ours, obviously do your due diligence, look at the things that the configuration file is installing. In our case, we're grabbing the .NET 8 SDK, VS Code, like I mentioned. And if I uh, may, yeah. would it be a good idea for you to hit yes in order to have the thing be doing the thing while we're talking? I'm not yeah. sure how long it'll take. Yeah, it'll take about four minutes and 30 seconds on my machine. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry, keep going. Nope. And that was it. So that, that's basically all this little prompt is asking you to do. They're mm. asking to make sure that, you know, you recognize the configuration and what you're expecting to install. Uh, in our case, this one came, came from the Microsoft website. So we know it's uh, secure. This is the one we have created. So all I do is I hit Y, I hit enter, and then this is going to start installing the SDK, VS Code, and C Sharp .cap. All right. So you said it's going to take about four minutes, four minutes and a half. We're not going to do any cuts. This is going to be an edit free video. We're not yep. going to edit anything. This is really happening. You can see it's spinning right now. It's downloading it. It's installing it. But in order to make the audience, you, not have to wait for four minutes, let's switch over to my machine. We'll talk a little bit together about WinGet and what the idea is. Turns out most people have WinGet installed and don't even know it, right? So you can go and type WinGet. Uh, you can type dash dash info to learn about the tool. You can type dash dash version to see what version you have. You got this already from Windows, because it's built into Windows, and it's updated through the Windows Store. It's called App Installer. So if you haven't gone to the Windows Store in a while, you might want to go up there and just hit updates and make sure you've got the latest version. I happen to be running a preview, but you know most people will have at least 1.6 or 1.8. So one of the cool things about Winget is I could type Winget search, and it's almost like a store at the command line. So one of my favorite things is Midnight Commander. I'm going to say Winget search. And I can see two different things. One is the GNU Midnight Commander, and one is some uh, maybe a theme or something. And this is the ID for the store. I'm just going to select this GNU Win Midnight Commander with my mouse. I'm going to right click, which copies it into the clipboard. And I'm going to say Win Get Install and then paste that in. When I hit Enter, it's going to go and find that. It says I found it. It gave me the version. It just popped up a yes, no. It's running the install, and now it's installed. It's literally that fast. So now when I run it, I'm in my classic Midnight Commander. That's just like one example. But if I went and searched for .NET, look at this. .NET Core Runtimes, .NET SDKs, all the different things, things that have mentioned .NET. So it sounds like you're installing the SDK version 8. Is that right? Yeah, currently. OK, cool. So your config file isn't just a bunch of commands like win, get, install, and win, get, install. It's actually a desired state. It's a 
desired state configuration. And Clint Rutkus, who is one of our buddies, uh, has uh, on his GitHub his own personal settings. And I always creep around on his GitHub to see uh, what's going on. And this desired state configuration is a, a winget config file, right? And it's saying all the stuff he wants. He sets up a dev drive. He installs Git. Is the thing, Claudia, that you just showed me a winget config like this? Yeah, they're very, very similar. It's just that ours is confined to the three things that we need uh, when you're a developer getting started with C Sharp. So in our case, SDK, VS Code, and C Sharp .kit. Very cool. So what he's doing is saying not winget install this and install that. He's saying winget configure, you know, whatever, foo dot uh, winget. You're saying winget Done. configure. Hey, What's turn around. I'm done. You're done already? Switch I'm back. done already. See, boom. Done already. <laughs> we timed it. How long was that, Scott? How long did that I don't take? know. A couple minutes. A couple minutes. A couple minutes. That was even shorter than I think most other times. Um, okay. So it says configuration that's applied. That's cool. Yeah. Configuration applied. I can hit enter. That's really just going to close the window for you. Um, next, what I can do is I'll open up that app uh, little setting page again so you can see what we actually installed here. So remember, previously I showed you there was nothing on here. Now we've got the .NET 8 SDK and we have Visual Studio Code. All right. We went from nothing to everything. And then this is actually the coolest part. And I will zoom in in just a second here. Let me just get rid of some stuff. We don't want to look right at this moment. And then if you would, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, of course. That's always a little bit easier to see. Uh -huh. But now you can see if I just go ahead and pop into the extensions. I have the extensions that I actually want to get started with uh, C Sharp Dev Kit, and I can go ahead and type in .NET in the in the command palette here, and I get all the nice commands that come with the extension. So, so just humor me, just, yeah. Make a new project, and let's just do a real hello world and prove it. Let's do it. Okay. And skip this for a second because I'm already signed in on my own device. Let me do that one more time. Oh, there we go. Cool. And then hit console app. Let's just pick downloads for now. It's an okay spot for me. My console app. Create project. I'm going to go ahead and trust the authors because I am the author. Dig it. Dig it. There we go. And you'll know that this works because on the left-hand side where it's showing you that console app in the lower left-hand corner, Solution Explorer appeared. Mm -hmm. And you can pull that up within the, um, yep. the accordion there and see your console app. Do you get syntax highlighting and all the stuff you would expect? All the good stuff, yep. You get everything you would get Look because it is activated and working, right? Uh, welcome with uh, Winget. Let's save that. And semicolon, don't forget that. And... Run it. Pause for effect. This is running on your laptop. Okay. Oh. This is the same. Yep, yep. But yeah, my laptop. Where did the hello world appear? It's coming. Give us oh, a are minute. you doing a debug session? Oh, you did a there promo, we I think. We just do run with uh, run project with associated. Ah, okay, cool. And it's probably in your path too, so you can do debug, you know, uh, .NET run or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So this is done in just five minutes. So that means professors, students, anyone who sets this up wants to try it out, runs anywhere that you've got Windows. Winget goes back, I think, into the middle of Windows 10 somewhere. So how far back can we go for folks that already have this feature? I believe it's Winget. It's um, Windows 10.0.02, I think, but. I will have to be double checked on that, but if you do not have it, you can go ahead and in install Winget pretty easily if, if you want this to, to power your install experience as well. Fantastic. I want to just show one last thing as we go out the uh, the door. There's a whole ecosystem of exciting things happening around Winget. You can go and learn more about it at uh, Microsoft Learn, the, the Windows Winget settings command. You can enable some experimental features. Even though this is released, there's some fun features like a rainbow progress bar and zip installs that are fun. And then there's also third party uh, products like built on top of it. So like for example, UniGet uh, by Marty 
is really cool, which is a UI for updating your tools. So when I go down to the command line here and I say win git uh, update, I can see which of my installed projects I might want to particularly update. I've got 17 upgrades available. I could do it here and update like Elgato Stream Deck, or I can go out to UniGet, which is that third-party plugin, and do that kind of stuff as well. And then just as you saw with Clint's example, go and explore. You'll find either .winget files or .dsc.yaml, depending on how people did it. Um, and actually, if you wouldn't mind, this might be a little... Uh, switch back over to your screen, bring up Notepad, and then just drag that winget file into Notepad, or drag it into VS Code, rather. Pardon me. Oh, I can open it from here. We can see it. it is Lovely. Right. Thank you for that. Open now what I'll do is close this just so it's a little bit easier. So I'm just going to change this because VS Code just didn't recognize this is a YAML file, but that's really what it is. Uh -huh. And yeah, this is everything that's in there. See, all it does is say install the .sdk for me, install VS Code and C Sharp Dev Kit. And it's uh, about 30 lines of code. That's cool, which means that you could take this and if you were a teacher or you're a student, set this up for the rest of your uh, teammates and basically extend that add Git add GitHub, Copilot, whatever things make you happy. That's really cool. Exactly, yeah. And like you showed, by using Winget Search, you can find all the things that you're kind of interested in packing into your configuration. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for showing us this. This is really neat. Yeah, of course. I hope everybody goes to try the tutorial and uses it to get started. Let us do the heavy lifting for you. All right, head on over to the .NET website, check out that tutorial, and download that Winget file today, and let us know in the comments how it went for you.